Hey guys, it's Venomous here, and I got a brand new OTGT for you right now. Now, today I'm talking about LEGO games, okay? This one's going to be a little bit more upbeat because, I'm going to be honest with you, I like the LEGO games, okay, that are coming out now for different systems, okay? I'm a huge fan of LEGO Star Wars 2, I'm a fan of LEGO Batman, and I'm a fan of LEGO Indiana Jones, the second one, the original Ventures, okay? Now, here's m my reasoning behind it, okay? These LEGO games are actually pretty good, okay? When you look at them, when you first play them, you think, oh, okay, this is real kitty and stuff, or whatever, you know, I'm not into this, and nothing really complex, you're just doing this and that and the blah, blah, blah. But after a while, if you spend a little bit, maybe close to about 30 minutes to an hour with it, it starts to grow on you, okay? The way I look at the LEGO games is if I'm playing, if I want to play a game, and I really don't feel like jumping into, like, Street Fighter, or Call of Duty, or Halo, or whatever, and I want to just mellow out, I just want to chill, you know, and relax, stuff, I put in one of my LEGO games, or I bring out my PSP and I play one of my LEGO games, okay? Because, like I said, they really tend, they're really, you know, easygoing games that are actually pretty good, and it's great to mill you out. It's pretty cool, okay? Best part about them, okay, is that uh, specifically like Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars takes something that from or takes things from the movies and makes huge parodies of them, okay? As cheesy as they might be, they're actually pretty funny from time to time, okay? It's pretty cool because I like Lego Star Wars two than I do one because I'm a fan of the original Star Wars trilogy. You know, I'm not, I didn't like the first three episodes of you know the new trilogy. You know, episode 1, 2, and 3, but I love 4 through 6, okay? I was always an old-school Star Wars fan. But anyway, what's cool about that is that a lot of the stuff, what goes on in the Star Wars movies, is parodied, okay? Like, instead of, uh, what is it, when, uh, what is it, if I remember correctly, in The Empire Strikes Back, I know there's a funny scene in LEGO Star Wars 2 where there's the scene after uh, Han Solo is frozen in carbonite, okay, and he's being taken over to Bubba Fett's uh, Slave 1. And Leia, Chewie, and Lando and C-3PO are moving around with the Stormtroopers. And Lando calls in his buddies to help, you know, help them out. You know, because he's being double-crossed by Darth Vader. What happens is, is that the guys come out, they point their guns at him. And the Stormtroopers are getting ready to do it, but they realize there's a whole bunch of guys around them. And all of a sudden, they just look at the ground, they just throw their guns on the ground. They're like, ugh. And, you know, that's pretty funny. You know, it's, it's a funny parody or a way to look at something so serious as Star Wars. And it's really cute and hilarious. Or it's real funny where, um, what is it, when you're fighting some of the guys in, uh, what is it, in the game. Like, if you're fighting a bunch of stormtroopers and stuff and you're shooting lasers at each other. Stuff like that. When you shoot them, they explode into a little bunch of Lego pieces. And it's not anything bloody or not anything too violent where, you know, it's like body parts flying over the place. But they're Legos. And the best part about it is that they take everything into consideration that it's part of the Lego universe. And that you're actually, you actually feel like, okay, yeah, you could actually be playing with these toys right now. Because all the Lego characters, all the vehicles, the settings, the environments are all based off of actual Lego toys and I love that that is so cool I grew up with Legos I used to be a kid in elementary school and I used to play with different types of Legos all the time and that is so freaking cool moving on to another one Lego Batman I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys if you haven't checked it out already you know you're probably somewhat of a fan of Batman if you go and you check this game out it's so cool because this game this Lego game doesn't specifically uh, do as any parodies of any of the Batman movies you know per se but it does take music from the original batman movie that was done by tim burton which was pretty cool because and that gives it a nice flair and it's like oh this is pretty tight you know i remember that movie you know that's cool but it takes a lot of stuff from the comics like certain villains like i don't know if any of you guys ever heard of firefly if you if you're a batman fan you're not a huge into the comics there's a villain called firefly in there and he had, they actually have him in this game you know in lego form which is really cu cool and really cute and they do really funny parodies of stuff where pretty much like one of the funny parts in it is that the riddler he's trying to explain to all the villains in there you know what his plan is and he's telling them about the details about it and they're all bored you know just running around you know doing stupid stuff like spinning on chairs or whatever and then eventually when he shows them the actual goal which is their goal in there, the, like the money they're gonna steal from Gotham Bank or the you know uh, Treasury Reserve, they all go, ah, that's so cool, you know, real cute cheesy stuff like that is always funny. It's a nice little light touch on things, you know, and stuff like that. Okay, it's a really cool game, Lego Batman. You should definitely check that out. I think it's one of the better games. It might be even better than Lego Star Wars, honestly. You know, if you guys check that out. Same thing goes for Lego Indiana Jones. Lego Indiana Jones does the thing of what Lego Star Wars does and actually takes stuff from the movies. The second game, at least, you know, the original Ventures. The first game takes more creative liberties here and there and stuff, but it's still just as good. A lot of people don't like it because they don't think it's as good as the original Lego Star Wars or Lego Star Wars 2 or Lego Batman, but I think it's pretty good and it's worth checking out, okay? 
the bad side about LEGO games, there's only one bad thing I can say about the LEGO games. If you guys have ever played LEGO Rock Band, okay, it's nothing like the other LEGO games, okay? It's pretty much just a straight up rip of Guitar Hero or Rock Man, you know, in this case, with the LEGO, pretty much LEGO skin on it for the most part, okay? You know, we just cute for like little kids and stuff like that, but me being a LEGO for all game fan, I was like, eh. I have already Guitar Hero and Rock Band, and it doesn't parody enough for, of it for me too much. You know, if I really want to play a game like that, I'll just go pull out my Guitar Hero and Rock Band, okay? And, you know, I have my own opinions about Guitar Hero and Rock Band, but I'll save that for another OTGT some other time. But back to this, you know, that's the only real, you know, downfall of some of the LEGO games. It's like a game like that where it's pretty much just cashing in just because it has both the LEGO and the Rock Band name on it. And it's not that great of a game. It's just a straight up same thing as Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Nothing wrong with Guitar Hero and Rock Band per se, at least, you know, what it's parodying and stuff, you know, what it's taking from it. But. I play that game a lot more. I played, uh, what is it, Guitar Hero a lot, you know, back in the day and stuff. And it really was no challenge. It was really no incentive for me to actually play that game anymore. So that's just my two cents on it, okay? Bottom line, okay, the LEGO games are something everybody, every gamer should check out. Even if you think it's really kiddie and you really think it's kind of cheesy and it, you, know, you might not think you like it, trust me, spend a little bit of time with it and it'll start to grow on you. You start to actually want to go for that 100% completion on all the games. Because me, I played them all thus far and I just got about 100% on all the games, especially LEGO Star Wars 2 and LEGO Batman because those are my favorite ones, okay? They also have Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, which is like one and two put together with some added stuff. I haven't had time to tinker around with that so much, but when I get the moment to, I'm definitely going to check that out and I'll give you another opinion about that another time. But like I said, Lego games, something every gamer should check out. It's really cute, really nice to mellow out and stuff. And that's about it, okay? This is Venomous signing out. This has been a brand new OTGT, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.